stem cell research, embryonic stem cell research, and other stem cell research. CNS Thelma Gutierrez is standing by. She's watching what's going on. Thelma, tell our viewers what you're seeing and hearing. Uh, Wolf, I can tell you this is a very big day for scientists right here in California and throughout the world. Now, five years ago, California voters passed Proposition 71, which paved the way for scientists here to use human embryonic stem cells in their research. Now, it was a way to get around all the federal government's restrictions. Now, will President Obama lift those restrictions? Here's what he told CNN's chief national correspondent, John King. You will have the power at the end of that parade to, with the stroke of a pen, lift the federal ban on embryonic stem cell research. I like the idea of the American people's representatives expressing uh, their views on an issue like this. While President Obama is waiting for congressional action on embryonic stem cell research, California is already off and running. Clinical trials are set to begin on patients with severe spinal cord injuries to see if human embryonic stem cell therapy is safe and effective. It took years to get here. We're in the engine room of a stem cell laboratory. Why do you call it that? <laughs> what we do is we grow human embryonic stem cells. Lead researcher Dr. Hans Kirsted shows us the incubators at UC Irvine, where his team is Last. growing human tissue. You see the bottom of this? You've got cell colonies. The colonies of human cells look like smudge marks to the naked eye. But when the embryonic stem cells are mixed with chemicals and hormones, they transform into something different. Phase two is then to flip those billions of cells into spinal cord cell types. In our hands, that takes about two months. The spinal cord tissue that Dr. Kirsted is growing has shown promise in treating lab rats with spinal cord injury. These animals are paralyzed. They can't support their weight. There's no coordination from front limbs to back limbs. But after transplantation with these stem cells that we've made into spinal cord uh, cell types, they restore after about two months. You can see the injury site before and after the stem cell treatment. As a scientist, I've never worked with a, a tool that has had such potential and such hits in such a short period of time. Clinical trials by the Geron Corporation are expected to begin this summer on patients who suffered spinal cord injuries, but it's important to note that the treatment has so far only shown promise if it's administered within two weeks after the injury. Now, Kirstead says that at this point in humans, they're hoping for incremental improvements that could help with sensation and bladder control. But he says that any benefit at this point would be a resounding victory. Wolf. Wow, uh, important stuff going on out in California. Thank you, Thelma. After weeks of